really quickly before the video starts, I just want to say all of my amenities in the van are going to pop up on the screen and show you like where I got it and how much it was. If you want more info on it, everything is linked on my Amazon storefront, which is also linked down below. And the first half of this video was shot on one day and the second half on another day. So if there's a change in scenery, that is why. <laughs> okay, on to the video. Hello, I'm Julia and I live in my van. This is a lived in van tour to kind of show you how I organize things, where everything goes, what has not held up in the van. Just to get started, it is a 2020 Ford Transit. It is the 148 wheelbase and it has the medium roof. I am a short person and it has all wheel drive which I find to be the most important part about my van because I have gone down some very sketchy dirt roads in this thing and have never been too scared for my life. Come on in. When you first enter my van, we have a mat along with Maui's food bowl. I got this at Home Goods. When you are coming into a van, you typically have very dirty feet and so it's just nice to have something to catch all of that dirt. <laughs> When we first walk into my van, we are greeted by my closet. I have this really awesome full-length mirror. This is something I would not be able to do van life without, simply because sometimes I'll be putting on outrageous outfits, and it's nice to see that they are outrageous before I walk out in public. This is just held on by some industrial Velcro. This is actually plastic, so it's not very heavy. Inside of my closet, we have all of my clothes hanging up. Then in this drawer, I have all of my shorts and shirts. And this drawer is for, like, my under wear and my bathing suits. Adding on to my closet, I have this drawer that just has drawer. <laughs> this cabinet that just basically has like my workout clothes and pajamas. And then at the very bottom is my propane. So let me show you how my propane works. So in here I have a 15 pound propane tank that powers my stove and oven. I've had it in here for five months and it still says that it's full. This is lasting me a really long time and it's amazing. I also have a little shutoff valve here on it so I can control when it's on and off a lot more easily. And then I also have this little gauge that tells me how much I have left in my propane. My propane is in this sealed box, so there's silicone all around the edges, and there are two holes that go out through the bottom of my van, so that if there is a leak of the propane in here, then it just falls out through the bottom because propane is heavier than air, so it sinks to the bottom. Now we're really gonna be getting real here. We're venturing into some dangerous territory, which is the front of my van. I think that when I'm parked up in a place, this is where it gets the messiest, actually. This blackout curtain helps to keep the hot air up there. So whatever temperature it is back here, and it's not back there. That makes sense. I also have like my towels hanging here because I took a shower today. I have more towels and I just have like bedding and extra stuff like that up here. And I've got these window coverings up, which are really nice ones. They're off of Amazon and they're half the, not even half the price. They're like a quarter of the price of the fancy camper van ones. And behind my driver's seat right here, okay, it's really full right now. It's not usually this full, but this is my laundry bag. I just put it behind the driver's seat. This is my passenger seat. I just put all of my bags hanging here. I don't have any hooks, so this is my hook. As we all know, the passenger seat is literally Maui's seat, so <laughs> underneath it is all of his cat supplies. I have all of this storage underneath the passenger seat, and it's the perfect space for all of his things. I forgot to mention I actually did this entire build by myself, and a lot of people like to say that that's not true. Go watch my van build time lapse. Feel free. I have this amazing propane-powered stove and my oven, and I put all of my pots and pans into my oven, and then below my oven I have more storage. All of my shoes just go down here and it's the perfect space for them. I do also have RV latches on everything so it prevents it from flying open while I'm driving. <laughs> you know it's a DIY build when you have like these weird little quirks so like this can kind of open all the way. Um, it gets kind of stuck on the flooring. And then this one cannot open all the way because I don't know if you can tell, but it's hitting my trash can drawer. And then to close them, I didn't cut this that great. So to close them, I have to do this one first. Slam this one in for it to close. Otherwise, if I do this one first, like it just, it just won't close. This is my trash can. The sliders on it broke, so I just took them off instead of actually fixing them. But this is basically my trash drawer. I also didn't build this very well because I built it exactly to the measurements of the trash can instead of adding space, so I can't do this because otherwise it just tears when it goes in and out. So I have to like keep the trash bag 
in there. And then this is the annoying part, having to like force it back in there, but it goes back in. <laughs> Right next up, I have my dishes drawer. It is humongous and it fits everything I need. Not the most professional of assemblies. This is a fake drawer because obviously my sink is right here, so it's just blocking it. And then in here, we have my fridge. I got my fridge from this company called Astro AI and it's a 12 volt fridge. It uses hardly any power and it has so much space and it was only $200. And then I have my pull-out pantry. This loves to just fly open going down the road, despite the fact that it has an RV latch. So I did have to add a little hook so that I can just put it in and then you see it doesn't open now. I feel like my kitchen is one of my biggest flexes. I really wanted the look of a marble countertop, but obviously marble countertop in a van, I didn't know how to do that. So what I came up with, I've never seen anybody else do this. I did an epoxy resin pour and I was really worried about how it would hold up in the heat and the cold, but it's held up great. I love it. It looks so good. I've never seen anybody else do it. I have a full tutorial on how I did it and I will link that below as well if you want to see it. This is a marble backsplash and this is actually real marble. It was really easy to use and I have all of the products that I used for it on my Amazon storefront and I got the tile itself from, I don't know, it was a tile warehouse and I just went and looked at all the different tiles and I liked this one so I got this one. Next up we're gonna take a look-sees into my sink which is currently gross. Maybe don't look too far into it. It's really deep which I like a lot and it just has so much space so I can put dishes in here throughout the day and every night I do wash all of my dishes. It is just not that time of the night yet so they may continue being covered by my cutting board which i love and i love that my faucet i can just move it out of the way so i can just have all of this free space here oh and i also have in here this little cutout that i did okay a lot of people have asked me about this this and my headboard which you'll see in a second they always want to know how i made it like go inwards and it's hard to explain but basically in the ford transits the beams are on the framing of the van but the skeleton of the van exceeds the framing. I'm able to put these little divots in there. And here I just have a washcloth with soap, my face wash, and my makeup wipes. And then I have my fruit bowl here. I have a little hook here as well for bananas. And that pretty much sums up my kitchen. I do have one kitchen cabinet and it's this one. My bed area, I have this cabinet, which is basically my beauty cabinet. And then I have this one, which is essentially just my nightstand. And now we have my actual bed area itself, which has my headboard there it just gives me a few extra inches of space when I'm laying this way which is really nice because I can lay and like my toes can just be pointed if you understand you understand like I can point my toes and still have space anyways and then to this side of my bed I have my amazing bookshelf I love to read I've got my pothos plant back there and I have these really pretty lacy curtains just to give it an extra homey feeling right here on my bed is basically my little control center so I have the switch for my water pump so I can turn my water pump on and off from here. I have a little USB outlet that actually doesn't work. I was being too lazy to actually solder the connectors and I just crimped them and they uncrimped themselves real quick. So it shorted out and it doesn't work anymore. Um, it's disconnected now, by the way. I was a smarty pants and installed myself a little 12 volt outlet here as well. So I'm able to use a little car 12 volt to charge things like my phone. I also have my battery monitor and the controller for my heater up here as well. And then underneath my bed is my bathroom. <laughs> So I have my toilet down here, and then I have trash bags, toilet paper, baby wipes, Ziplocs, just like random stuff like that. And then here I have a bunch of fans and cleaning supplies onto my dinette. My dinette was an absolute must-have in the van for me, and I'm so glad I did it because it's nice to have friends. We can come in here and eat. It's, it's just great. He loves to be in the videos whenever I'm recording. I have a little cubby here that I can put notebooks and then the seats of the dinette actually open up to some fun stuff. I don't know if you can see here that well, but this is my electrical box. So this is actually my inverter poking out right here. Nice and handy since I do have such little power in here, I can easily turn it on and off at my own convenience. And in here is all of the electrical things. <laughs> the power starts with my solar panel. I have two 100 watt solar panels on my roof, so that's 200 watts of power. 
it comes down to my controller. The controller is available for both solar and alternator charging, but right now I only have the solar set up. So the solar comes into the charger then goes into the battery. I know it looks like a mess in here, but stick with me. <laughs> then it goes into the battery and from the battery, it goes to two places. So connecting to the battery is one, my inverter connects directly to the battery and two, my fuse panel. And then connected to my fuse panel is literally everything in the van. My max air fan, my lights, my heater, my USB outlets, my sink water pump, my stove and oven lights. Also, if you look under my table here, this is my Wii Boost. It's a cell phone signal booster. So if I'm in an area that doesn't have the best of signal, this gives me excellent signal and it is awesome. The little bench seat here is Maui's litter box. Oh, this is my hotspot. That's how I get internet. This is Maui's litter box in here. It's nice because I can open it up this way if I need to get better access. And on my roof, I've got my Max Air Fan. I forgot to add this, but I put a cheesecloth on my Max Air Fan because bugs kept getting inside. And I've got my skylight, which is nice because I can have a bug screen or I can just have a blackout shade. And it's just a really nice way to get a whole lot of fresh air into the van. I've got the bug screen because there's a lot of mosquitoes around here. Speaking of my skylight, we're actually gonna crawl up onto my skylight really quickly so that you can see my rooftop deck. Hi, the wind was going absolutely crazy up there, so I just figured I'd come back inside. Basically, I have a little itty bitty rooftop deck that I made a month ago maybe in California in a Home Depot parking lot. So that's my newest addition to the van because I had a huge 200 watt panel that was really big and needed to be specially mounted on and it just, it shattered. It completely shattered. So I replaced it with two little 100 watt ones and I got the privilege of having a little deck now. And on my door here, I started collecting magnets. I have a little list of things I need to get from the store. My cat, Maui, is going absolutely insane to be let outside. So, here. Be free. Back of my van here is a total terror zone. Basically, the best way to explain it is this is just like <laughs> random stuff on this side. And this side is supplies. So I have my diesel here. I have my diesel heater here. And then my water system is right here. Basically, here's how my van's plumbing works. I have this little fill port coming out from my trunk and it leads to my 13 gallon water tank. I have a shutoff valve coming out of my tank just in case I need to fix the plumbing. First, the water goes through this filter just to get whatever debris could be in there. Then it goes through a 12 volt water pump that's controlled by a switch into the accumulator tank, which just helps to keep an even flow of water pressure then it goes out of the trunk and into the kitchen then it comes up and out of the faucet then the water comes out the bottom of my van this is a big responsibility so biodegradable everything if you enjoy this video, I do post six times a month of my crazy adventures in here. And if you'd really like to support me, you can go ahead and check out my Patreon, which is linked down below. Thank you.